In this video, I show you how to use dependency injection to decouple your modules. I'm going to create a fake text editor. There will be no GUI, I will do everything in the terminal. First, I create a window class that shows text. Then, the window will save the text in a text file. Then, we will separate the window from the file logic by using dependency injection. And finally, I show the benefits of dependency injection by replacing the text file with a database without touching the window class. Let's go! I create a window class. I create a main script. Let's test if this works. That works. Now I'd like to save the text in a text file like this. I add the save text method to the window. I execute the code. That works too. But I have created a problem. The window and the file logic is coupled in the window class. This violates the single responsibility principle and can be solved by decoupling. For this, I use dependency injection. The first thing I do is move the save logic to its own class. Now I go back to the window class and allow it to use the text file class. A window class now expects an object that can save text. Let's store the storage object in the class. Now the decoupling can take place. I replace the save logic with the call to the save method in the storage object. The window now has no knowledge anymore of saving logic. It just knows there is a storage object that can save text. What happens if we run the code? Python tells us we now have to pass the storage object to the window. We hook up everything in main. I pass storage to the window object. I run the code again. That works. When Python calls save text on the window, the window object relays this call to the storage object. We have used dependency injection to decouple our code. The storage object is injected into the window object. Window objects and storage objects have no knowledge of each other. The only place that has knowledge of everything is main. Now I show the benefits of decoupling with dependency injection. What if the text needs to be stored in a database? Earlier we would have to change the window class. Now we can just create a new class for the database and hook it up in main. Let me show you.
Now notice how I use the database class without changing the window class. I replace text file with database and run the code. And suddenly, the window is able to store the text in the database without even knowing there is a database. Dependency injection is one of my favorite techniques in software engineering. It works in all modern object-oriented languages and allows you to decouple your modules. I hope this video helps you to decouple your software. See you in the future.